Whoa! Excuse this pimple. Anyways, back again with another shoe review. Hope you guys enjoy it. Stick around and see what I picked up. Uh, just in case you want to see the box, uh, I did pick these up for really cheap. Got them for 40 bucks at the van store. So old school zip, premium leather, leather black, men's uh, US size 10 and a half. Of course, you get your traditional box. Again, if you're familiar with the outlets, they're always beat to shit, so I'm not really tripping too much on it. Uh, I'm going to probably just throw this out. But uh, anyways, yeah. Guys, so quick little review, because obviously I want to give it to you. Um, premium leather upper everywhere, every single panel, including the tongue, everything you can honestly think of. Uh, no foxy stripe or piping on this shoe white sole white toe bumper Even a black and white heel tab Of course your traditional gum waffle sole at the bottom Nothing too fancy with the insole What sets the shoe apart from the standard old school is probably just this awesome zipper where you can slip in and out of super dope super comfortable and uh, This leather Hasn't even been broken in and it's so soft super nice quality the shoes did come with a uh, black laces and no white laces but i actually you know lace swapped so you can just imagine um, the shoe with black laces anyways not gonna really get too much into that before i show you the customization that everyone else has fucking done i'm just gonna show you these on foot show you what they look like and then after i do the customization i'll show you what it looks like after that let's get them on my feet I look retarded. Anyways, obviously I didn't come up with this custom, a lot of other people did, so whoever the fuck else first came up with it, shout outs to you, but as far as I know, shout outs to Sneakerhead and the Bay and Harrison Neville. The only difference between my custom and theirs is that I chose a slightly different route, and uh, I got the leather premium upper. I think the floral patch is going to look really sick with that, so stay tuned. Not sure if I'm really going to show you a complete tutorial, because you could just go to Sneaker and the Bays or Harrison Neville for a great tutorial. I'm just going to show you what these look like at the end. Okay. So I just woke up, got my packages in the mail, my patches, and uh, I'm going to show you what, what I'm going to do with them real quick. I'm going to just show you what they look like. So what I have here is four of the patches that Sneakerhead, and the Bay, and Harrison will use for their Vans Old School, which I will be doing the same thing, but again, I'll be doing it on a premium leather pair. And then here's a patch for my project that I wanted to show you guys. So it's a Grim Reaper patch, mainly black with white, a little bit of hints of green, brown, and red. So I like that because it's not just black and white. And the seller that sold me that gave me a Misfits button and a Star button for free because I never ordered this. There you go, free. That was really dope of them because I fucking love the Misfits. It's actually one of my favorite bands while I grew up. Uh, I know I got a Misfits t-shirt somewhere. Uh, and then that star is really dope. Not sure what I'm going to do with these guys, but I'll definitely put them to good use. So let's go ahead and get this started. Alright guys, so patch project number one. Um, you know how when you're smoking weed or smoking your cigarette and you ash it or you're not really noticing where you're moving around? and your cigarette barely grazes your articles of clothing and it leaves a burn hole well, this is what this project is going to be for alright guys, so now that the socks jersey's done, I just want to show you it like I said before, when you're smoking or doing whatever or some, something just happens, you get a hole in it you want to patch it up I was actually thinking about getting rid of this and getting a completely brand new one, but I thought, why not just patch it? I mean, that looks so sick and doesn't really take away too much from the look. As you can see, it's still pretty nice. Nice and flush too. I like how the, uh, you know, the sizing information and the little patch right there looks good with uh, my Reaper patch. So it looks pretty dope. I can't really complain on how it came out. It came out great. Uh, of course, it's very simple. You just iron it on and stitch it if you want. Uh, I went ahead and stitched around it just to make sure, you know. But uh, yeah, guys, that's what the socks jersey looks like. 
Like I said, not gonna give you a video tutorial, but I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna take off the laces, get these ironed on, glued on, and then I'm gonna sew it on permanently. Uh, yes, I'm gonna be sewing through this because it's actually very soft and it won't be too impossible to do it. But I'll show you what the finished product looks like once I'm all done. Oh, the first shoe's done. Looking pretty dope. About to do the next one. So yeah. Again, my touch on it was just the premium leather with the zip. I think it looks cooler than the standard suede and canvas one, in my opinion, of course. So, shout out to Sneakerhead the Bay for Harrison Neville showing the world this wonderful custom. It's gonna look super dope when it's all done. So what we got here is the finished product. Gonna lace them up. Got all the patches on. Like I said, I did double side, double sides. So I think this looks better in my opinion. I feel like it's more done. Yeah, gonna let that dry. And then I'm gonna lace the shoes. Just finished up the product, man. I laced them up. You already know, looking really fucking dope. Exclusive and shit. The zipper, the premium leather, and the patches just make the shoe complete. Of course, I did the other side. I'm not sure if Harrison Neville did that. I know Sneaker Hunter Bay definitely didn't, but I just feel like it looks more complete that way. Uh, that's pretty much all I gotta say about it is that I'm done and it looks dope So again, shouts out to those two for making a dope YouTube video tutorial If you guys want to do it yourselves, watch their tutorial Um, anyways give, give, Gonna give you guys a, a little on foot later uh, After this and, uh,